Welcome to the video from the dislifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 20211 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. Only a few changes with this this build. So the first change is this defer, uh, choose default app by file type. And um, this bit features been in and out builds recently. And I've always found it a little bit slow actually, but what it should do when it comes up is it'll look like this. And you can choose, so you can you can search by sort of file types or MP3 or whatever, and choose which application is associated with that file type. So uh, that should come up on here. Um, so what I'll do is I carry on showing you some other changes, and we'll come back to that one and see if it actually uh, it comes up. I guess the first time it has to do a sort of uh, index, perhaps index build. The other change is around the Linux subsystem for Windows. Uh, so this is where you can run Linux as part of, uh, of Windows 10, as like its own subsystem, WSL2. And uh, the main change for that is, if you're familiar with Linux, is you can mount um, file types of access file systems that are actually supported by Windows, such as the EXT4. So if you're dual booting between Windows and Linux and uh, using different disks, you can now access your Linux files from Windows. So um, there's a separate blog post on this, on the WSL2 blog, but very interesting. The WSL2 is pretty powerful stuff. The rest of the changes are just fixed. They fixed an issue with 32-bit applications running 64-bit OS. Um, do not get properly access to the GPU for hybrid configurations. Uh, they fixed some issues with the start menu. Uh, where the update progress would uh, carry on showing. Now this one I've seen on loads of different machines and different builds. So where it kind of greys out as though it's still downloading, even though it's finished downloading. That's something that's in the May 2020 update as well. Um, the bug, I mean. The, they fixed issues with ARM64 devices where start would crash. They fixed some screen scaling issues, some crashing issues with um, t notifications. You know, you get a little notification, they fix something actually where the icon doesn't show up. And you are no longer asked to install .NET update after each build, which is good to see. Ah, there we go, there's the choose file type. So I can search for an MP3 file. And there you can see all the applications that can, can use MP3 in the default. So I could search for um, I don't know, a doc file for Word. And it can show you on there, and you can choose the default app. So it's, um, and then you can see actually that's not searching for dot, that's dot, doc, like that. There we go. Um, so actually, you can see it's, it is working now and it's much faster. And there's a couple of known issues with this build still. Um, update might be hanging during the install, I'm not seeing that. There's some, uh, they're still working on a fix to enable live preview for pin tabs. There's still a few pin tabs issues. Uh, office application crashing or missing after updating the build. There's some reports of that. Uh, they're still working on the manage disk volumes crashing, which I can't access on this Surface Go. I can on my VM though. Um, there's a couple of Linux kernel issues and um, WSL2 issues as well. So I'll include full uh, details on the digitallifestyle.com. So there we go. We have got a new feature. We can show the choose application of our file types and uh, WSL2 supporting uh, non-Windows uh, based uh, file types. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com. I'm at iStixon on Twitter.